preservatives. Woo! It doesn't have preservatives. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I, as you can tell, have another declutter video. Yay! It is time for some spring cleaning. And this is a good old skincare. Skincare spring cleaning. I will do some organizing and get it all organized. This is mostly like um, facial skincare. My like body skincare, I think will be another video. There's just, I had to organize it somehow. So this is like lotions and serums and face masks, cleansers. It's a little bit of everything. If you, this sounds interesting, then you're on the right channel. <laughs> and I do a lot of these videos, so consider subscribing to my channel. Also, my two dogs, I'm doing this on the floor in my room, so my two dogs might just kind of wander through the shots. So that'd be exciting for everyone. <laughs> Let's see how everything goes. We're starting with cleansers. And holy cow, why do I have so many cleansers? I, I just, I get a lot of them in BoxyCharm and Ipsy, and they just... And you can't go through a cleanser very fast. It's something that like, I try to go through it, but it's it just, it's something that is not as fast as I want it to be. Do you want to be in the picture? Let's see if we can get you in there. Oh, that's Sif. Hi, baby. Thank you. You, you can go now. Yeah? Hi. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, I love you, bye-bye. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Bye. Get, go. I like you. Bye. Okay. All right. We'll just have to see if Hades comes into the shot too. Okay. Let's start with the cleansers that I'm currently using. I want to use them up. So this Nexema, I'm currently using this. It's, it was recommended by my dermatologist and I'm, I like it. <laughs> I've been, I feel like I use Nexema in junior high and it's a classic and I like it and it's good. <laughs> so we're, I, I, I use this as like my second cleanse. I, I do a double cleanse. So uh, my first cleanse, I use uh, like an oil cleanser. So right now, this is what I'm using. I have these three. I got this in a trio from one of the Sephora sales. So here's the Pharmacy Green Clean. And this is in the um, scent Peach Time. So this one's really nice. I'm I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm maybe a little bit half, uh, more than halfway through it. So this is my first cleanse. And then my second cleanse, I go with, um, this one's actually in... I have several cleansers I'm going through because they're in different locations. Like this one's on my bathtub because when I just get in the bath and don't wash my face before I get in the bath, I have a cleanser. It happens sometimes. So here's my cleanser that's on my bathtub. So, and then I have a cleanser in my shower. Here's my shower cleanser. Um, I have two shower cleansers actually. So here is Dr. Brandt Pore purifying cleanser and then this one is an equate one and this one my dermatologist also recommended it because this one has benzoyl peroxide in it which is and it's a 10 percent. this one is strong this one is like when i'm having really bad acne days so i haven't used this one since before i was um had accutane so i haven't used this one for a while i might actually want to get rid of that one because i used it the other day because my skin is actually flaring up a little bit right now um just hormonally and i used it and it hurt my face <laughs> So, you know what? Actually, it does say it's expired. It expired in 2021. And this one hurt my face. So, we are going to get rid of this one. I'm just going to throw it away. It's expired. I'm throwing it away. Um, so, then this one will just be my one shower cleanser. I don't need two in the shower. Okay. So, we're keeping those two. This is the cleanser that I have on my um, bathroom sink. And I'm almost done with it. I'm, it it's really taking... It's been lasting forever. This is the Coors Foaming Cream Cleanser. And... It has like yogurt in it and it's pre and probiotics and I got it from BoxyCharm and I have loved it. I think it works really well. It's really dirty. You can see like I've been like that's like makeup residue. <laughs> that is fun for you to see. You're welcome. Uh, it works really well. This is my second cleanse. It gets off the makeup that, that this one doesn't. So beautiful. I really like it. Those, those three are the cleansers. So bath. This one's bath. This one's shower. This one's kitchen or... Er, bathroom counter. Okay. Okay. So maybe that's why it takes me so long to get 
through these cleansers because I'm using three of them at the same time. But okay, then here's some micellar water. And if you can see that, I am almost done with that. So I'm excited to be done with that. I love micellar water. This one's from Garnier. I've been using this one for a while. I used it with just a, like a cotton pad or a reusable pad and it works amazing. Um, and I have some, I haven't purchased more because I have some over there, some oil cleansers as well. So those will be my backups when that one's done. This one is also in my bath. So because I have this one, I don't need this one. It is Brighten Up Enzymatic. I've had this for a real long time. So I don't need both. Which one looks worse inside? Oh, actually that looks kind of like it's seen better days. So we're gonna actually get rid of that. That, ha that seems, does it have an expiration date? Either way, it's, we're, we're going to throw expired or Noxima away. Let's get a new tub, tub cleanser. Cause I'm pretty sure both of these are expired. The problem is I don't wash my face in the tub a lot because I, um, I usually wash my face before I get in the tub. So here, here's the plan. Maybe we should just do like, um, a little travel one. Like this is a travel one. Here we go. Okay. I found it here. This is a small one. We want something small for the tub so that I can get through it fast. Here, this one's Tula. Um, it is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Here we go. This one's for the tub. Okay, so this one, um, it is a makeup assassin. It has separated, if you can see that. Like there's a little jelly oil in there. And I never really liked it. It was supposed to be like specially melt, make, made to melt your makeup away, but I never felt like it worked very well. Like I didn't feel like it melted my makeup away. Um, I think I got this in a Ipsy or BoxyCharm or FabFitFun, something, one of, one of those subscription boxes, and I, I didn't really like it. So I'm going to throw this away because I'm pretty sure it's expired. Okay. I have these. These I got in a BoxyCharm. They're makeup wipes. And I use these anytime that I am shooting a video and I do a lot of swatches. So I use these to make take the swatches away. So I'm keeping those. And I'm keeping all of those. This is a, like a little, when I had a Junk Elephant cleanser, oil cleanser, It this was like a little thing that came in it. And it's these little exfoliating beads that you can put in your cleanser. And so I just keep them because I... If I want to add the exfoliating beans, I can. I, I don't know. I'm, I probably could get rid of them, but I'm not going to. Okay, here. This is from Innisfree. This is a lip and eye makeup gel remover. This is so old. It's going in the trash. Anything that I know is really old is going in the trash. Trash, trash, trash. These are like, I'm pretty sure I got these from hotels. They're um, makeup remover wipes. I'm going to put this in like my travel bag. We're gonna put this also on the tub so I can just use this. Get get rid of this. I like, I this is from Good Molecules. I like to use samples because I like, like they send them to me and I don't want to waste them. But I feel like with sample sizes, they just get lost in the mix. Do you guys ever feel like that? This is also, I feel like this is from a hotel. Why do I keep these? Um, this is, it's a oil to foam like cleanser. It's dry and or maybe it's not dry yeah I don't know I it's it's it doesn't work anymore it's it's bad it's expired these are the things that I haven't opened yet and it's like Bianca we need to consider these because you have these are like backups like why do I need these many backups when I have like be considerate because I don't want to have to rebuy things do you need this many probably not no I am almost out of this so I do need some of these like makeup uh, removers. These are eye makeup removers. Like these go on a little uh, makeup wipe and they just take off your eye makeup like before you do the cleansing. Like when you have really hardcore eye makeup on like I do today. Yeah, I've got some, I've got some good eye makeup on today. So um, that will be like when you have eyeliner and <laughs> mascara and you know, it, it really goes into it. So I'm going to, and this is from Lancome and Laura Mercier. So I want to keep those. Those are really good. This one I got in a boxy charm. It is a spray and it says makeup melt. So yeah, I only have three of them. Uh, maybe eventually I'll get rid of this one, but for now it's, I, I go through it. I mean, you can see, like I do actually go through it. It is, is a product I go through. So I don't feel like I need to get rid of those. Since all, all of these are unused, I feel like some of these can go to either like 
a future giveaway or I can give them to friends and family. I did give some cleanser to my son because he's 11 and he was starting to get acne, but I don't know if he used it, a little turkey. What do I want the most? Like the brands that I want. So Glam Glow is a brand that I want. It's it's like, I really want this Glam Glow. So this is like, when I run out of this these two cleansers, which, what cleanser am I gonna grab for? So it's gonna be this Glam Glow. I want, I want Glam Glow. So then this Ren, this Ren is one that I purchased from BoxyCharm. Like I didn't just get it in a, a BoxyCharm, I purchased it because I wanted it. So yeah, then we have this milk. I, I really, I want to keep this one as well. Wishful, uh, this is the Huda Beauty. And this is also a, like a cleansing butter. So it's kind of like these. So I, it's a, it's an, it's your first in the uh, double cleanse step. So I want to keep those because those are always really good to have. I don't like exfoliate, like these are, this is an exfoliating cleanser. I think I got it because it says pumpkin walnut exfoliating cleanser. Ugh, it does not smell like pumpkin. It smells like walnut. Um, I don't like it. It's, it's, uh, it actually is, it has been used. I said it hasn't been used, but I think I did use it. And it's exfoliating. I'm not a huge fan of exfoliating. I, yeah, we're throwing this one away. I believe it doesn't smell right. Let's just say that it doesn't smell right. <laughs> okay. I got this in, it's an Ern, Erno Laszlo in a box of uh, Fabfit Fun. And I've been really wanting to use it. It should be a really good cleansing bar once like my acne s flares up again. So I'm really excited to use that. This is a tiny little travel size from Sunday Riley. And I don't even know what it is. It says it's a lactic acid treatment. What the heck is a lactic, lactic acid treatment? If I don't know what it is, I'm not keeping it. It's too complicated. Sorry. Like I keep it because I'm like, oh, it's Sunday Riley. But I don't know what it is. So <laughs> um, this is intriguing because it says age diffusing cleanser, anti-aging. And um, every day I am aging. Yeah, I'm keeping that. I'm not doing very good, am I? No, I'm not. This, uh, Turmeric Daily Herbal Facial Cleanser. Yeah, I can, I, I, I don't care for that. I don't, I've never, I haven't used it, but it does, it, it looks like it's seen better days. So this will go to like friends and family. So these are the exact same thing. This is Earth Harbor Sunshine Dew. So my sister, Bridget, she, we both got these from probably FabFitFun. We both had FabFit. She, she had it. I have it. And we both got it. And she was like, I don't need it. So I don't need both of them. So I am going to give this one. Oh, hi, Siv. How are you? Yeah. I'm going to keep this one. It is a antioxidant cleansing oil. And I like cleansing oils. I think they're great. So I will keep one and give one away for friends and family or um, a giveaway. Yeah, it's in great condition. Then we have a skin soothing polish. It is exfoliating. I'm not a huge fan of exfoliators. And then this one, okay, 1% 1 salicylic acid. I already have one that is good for acne. I feel like I don't need either of these. I do use an exfoliator in the shower sometimes. And it. I don't have any in here. I got rid of the one that I have. So let's keep the one exfoliator and we will, this one is brand new and is not used. So we're going to get rid of this. This is what I am keeping for my cleansers. So I'm keeping 18 cleansers and then some wipes. These, I'm not counting these. These are little like sample sizes. Okay. Um, at the end, I will do a big, big thing of all of the, uh, everything that we get rid of. Okay, and then these are the ones that we are getting rid of. So we are keeping one, two, three to give to, um, I think these two can go in giveaways. This one will go to family. Eight are going in the trash. So then 11 got taken from my collection or removed. So that's like ha uh, a third, about a third. Okay, great. Well, hi again. We're here for mask, mask time. <laughs> Okay, it looks like a lot more because there's a lot, there's a lot of sheet masks. And then over there are the non-sheet masks masks. Okay, so masks. I have a lot of masks because I like to wear them, like the non-sheet masks, I wear them in the tub. Like when I'm, when I'm taking a bath, I put on a mask and then I relax and it's amazing. The non, the, the actual sheet masks, 
Like I get out of the shower and I'll put one of these on. I really like masks. I think they're a, a nice like self care, like treat yourself kind of thing, but you get a lot of them in subscription, beauty subscription boxes. It's just happens. And so do I have a lot of them? Yes, I do because for that reason. And then sometimes like in the add-ons, there'll be I, I, these milk makeup ones were an add-on that I, I purchased because I was like, ooh, milk makeup, that's a great brand. Um, so I, should I have got them? Probably not, <laughs> but I was intrigued. Let's try to, to cull this herd a little bit because I don't need this many. This one, I believe is a, a green tea collagen essence mask. I think this is probably from like the dollar store and I don't even think green tea smells very good. So we're going to get rid of that one. Um, these masks, where did I get these? I don't remember, but they're so fun and they make me feel like, like bat girl when I wear them. They're just like for under your eyes and for your cheeks and whatever. These are staying with me until I use them up because they're the funniest thing in the world. Like they, they're a bat, bat. Like I should wear one of these in a video one time because they're just the funnest, the funnest mask in the world. This is a, uh, after sun mask. And you know what? I bought these being like, Oh, okay. It'll be good for after I get a sunburn. I didn't get a sunburn. <laughs> so I even put, keep this in my little mini fridge. So I'm keeping that for after I get a sunburn. These cucumber under eye pads. Okay. Let's, let's get all the under eye pads together. Now I have these milk ones are under iPads. These are under iPads. These are under iPads. I love these. These are guardian ones. They're like little wings. They are the cutest things in the world. I love them. I'm keeping these. Um, these milk ones, I just, I paid, I paid a lot of money for these and I have a bunch of them. You know what? I could probably, this, this pack can go in, um, a giveaway. I don't, I don't need that. I have, I have all of these. So let's, let's get giveaway for these and keep these. Yay! And then this one, uh, also, giveaway! Don't need all of those. I have this many under eye ones. Eight. That'll be good. Lip masks. I only have these. I only have three of them. And I love lip masks. I think they're fun. So I'll look, put on an eye mask and a lip mask at the same time in the bath. Um, so these are staying. I, mean, I think some of these I got as gifts. And some of them I got in, like my sister Bridget sent me a whole bunch of things because she was like, oh, you can give these away in, in giveaways. So some of these I think my sister Bridget sent me and some of these I just have. Okay, these honey lavender. Lavender is um, one of my favorite smells in the world. So that is staying with me because I just, I think I purchased those because of the lavender thinking that would be really nice. I purchased this because I was going through Accutane and it was this like intensely moisturizing, soothing and balancing. And when I want a sheet mask, I really want it to be moisturizing. So that still sounds really great. Great. So I, w I would like to keep that. This it's a purifies pores and firm skin. That sounds really cool. It's a peel off face mask actually. So that should go over here. It's not the same over there. This brand, the Rael Beauty. I really love these, this, this brand of face masks. I feel like they, when I put them on, my face actually really feels much better. Even though about collagen, I hear that you're supposed to actually ingest collagen instead of putting it on like through lotions and stuff. But I just liked the way that this brand felt on my face. So we're going to keep those. Okay. Now then I have these three boxes of masks. Oh, this one. I got this one for only, oh, for only three fifty. Nice. Go on, go on me. Oh, it's a gemstone mask. How cute. Like you put the little gemstones. Do you see that? That's cute. That can go in a giveaway. Um, she gave me it to give and give away. So this is... Soothing sheet mask and lip gel kit. Oh, cool. I like lip gels. Done. Okay. Here's a sheet mask. It was like, a, there was two other sides of it. And it was like, one was a cleanser. One was a serum and one was a sheet mask. And I never, I never kept them together. So I'm just getting rid of it. I think mostly I was going to get rid of like ones I could just give away because I really like them. Okay. We're going to keep these because they're all just individual ones. I can't give these away. I need to give one of these away. That's what needs to happen. This one's crushed, so I can't. It's one of these. I need to, and it's it's this one because this one, I bought this one for on sale. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. Okay. I don't 
That's what needs to happen. I just don't need to keep all of these. None of them are like bad. I just can't, I just don't want to, uh, we'll put this in the giveaway too. I just don't want to keep all of them. These ones might actually have some of them be bad because Glow Recipe, I hear, doesn't have, what is the word that I'm thinking of? You know, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, I literally just had to call my husband to ask him what the word is that I was thinking of. Preservatives. Preservatives. I know editing Bianca would have the word, but right now Bianca didn't have the word. Preservatives. I have heard that Glow Recipe does not put preservatives in their products. And so they don't last as long, which is good if you don't like preservatives. But it's bad if you are trying to rotate through your skincare <laughs> because I have, I am trying to rotate through my skincare. So I'm going to be smelling some of my products in this, this adventure to, to make sure they're so good. Here are my peel off and, and wash off mask. This is my, my mask tub from my, my tub. Oh my gosh. These are the ones I'm currently using. I'm glad I pulled those out actually, because I think some of these might be expired. This is, um, from the brand Feel Harmony. It's a rose petal facial mask. I've been trying to get, I've had these for a really long time and I've been trying to get rid of them because uh, I've had them and I just, I use it. And every time I just don't really love the smell of rose. It's, it's, it's supposed to be like ultra concentrating toning gel. I don't, I'm going to throw both of these away because I just, they make me feel guilty because I still haven't used them, even though they're probably super expired. Both of them are open and both of them are just barely used because I, I try to go through. I don't remember which one I've used more. I'm throwing both of them away because I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel bad about throwing away products, but why am I holding on to things I don't like when I have all of this from Tony Moly, which Tony Moly has the cutest like decor, like decorations. I love Tony Moly stuff. Oh, it really, it's, it's really like honey. This one's almost gone. I don't know. It's really sticky. It's like actual like honey and I don't like it. When I put it on my face, I feel like I put honey on my face. I'm getting rid of it. I don't like it. Yeah, it smells good. It smells fruity still. So I want to, this is a pore refining and exfoliating mask. I should, I'm going to put this in rotation because I need, it doesn't have any, now I think pesticides. No, what is it? Ah, the word. It doesn't have those things that keep food fresh. I explained the word instead of using the word. So I organized the masks into what they do. So these are youth, like age defying. These are like clay pore refining. These are overnight masks. These are blue light masks, which I don't even know what that is. That's another topic of conversation. These are exfoliating masks. These are hydrating masks. This is a enzyme mask and these, these are like just the other, they, they just, they just got, Ooh, this is an enzyme mask too. And I want kind of one from each section because I want to be able to choose like, you know, if I'm feeling sassy and be like, Hey, which one do I want to, which mask do I want to use today? So from this group, obviously I'm going to use the one that I'm using right now. This one, I'm the random ones. We're going to go with the one I'm using right now. And these, these little, these little ones. Um, here are my little spatulas. Um, this one is older than dirt, so it's going in the trash. And then here is the enzyme that has like AHA and BHA. So it is an exfol a chemical exfoliant instead of a... So here we have two exfoliatings. We have chemical and physical. So chemical, physical. So let's have whether I want chemical versus whether I want physical. So I have two of those. Here are, these ones are pumpkin. So I feel like I used, I, I actually had this one in my empties. It's the Urban Skin Pumpkin Pore Detox Mask, Detox Mask, and it was on sale from Ulta for like 40% off and I picked it up. Yeah. So they are pumpkin and they are staying with me. I am not putting these in a giveaway. I am keeping these because they are pumpkin and pumpkin is life. Pumpkin is life. Then from this section, I want to, I'm using this one right now. So then that section's been, so now we have this section. Um, we, I need a hydrating mask. All three of these are not opened or used. This one, like it looks like it is, but it's actually sealed at the bottom there. We're going to go with this Wander Beauty. So Wander Beauty, hydrating mask, done, recycle. This is an overnight mask, so it doesn't go in the tub. Um, and then this is a blue light mask. What, when do we use a blue light mask? 
I don't even know. Age defying, like I hate to get rid of age defying stuff because this is Grown Alchemist, this is Glam Glow. They're both, both very nice brands. I hate to get rid of them because I'm growing older and I would like to keep those. So then we have these. These are pore refining clay masks. And these two are both open and I've used them. And um, this one is really like you have to mix it um it, it like this one's already pre-mixed this one is just like powder and I got it on Amazon because it had really good reviews and you have to like pre-mix it. it this is some tough stuff but since it's only powder and not mix it's gonna last I would say a long time so we're gonna keep that but this one is unopened unused I already have two backups I don't need this so we're gonna give that in a giveaway what? okay so then we have this overnight mask situation so I really like these arnica ones this is a pumpkin overnight mask. Pumpkin is life. I got this one from Trader Joe's. It says Trader Joe's. This one is Glam Glow. Um, I've had this one for a, lo a long time. It doesn't, it doesn't super smell. It smells like watermelon rind, which I don't think is what it's supposed to smell like. So that's going in the trash. I have two of these. I got this from BoxyCharm and I like buy one, get one free situation. It is a blue light protection mask. And I thought that sounded cool because I use the computer all day. I use my phone all day. But then I've heard from recent studies that like that does nothing, that like the amount of blue light you get from your computer and your phone is negligible. Like you get way more from the sun. But um, I mean, I guess that would help with if you go out in the sun. So one of these has been used. Ah, and one of them has not. So let's keep the one that's been used and give in a giveaway the one that has not. So this can be used. I mean, I guess it, it could, oh, look, see, it has UVA, UVB. Oh, it has some protection. So it's, this would be good for if you go outside. I mean, maybe it doesn't really help from actual <laughs> computer rays. Maybe it does. I, I don't know the science of it, but I, it couldn't hurt, could it? <laughs> giveaway. Keeping. That one is unused and unopened. Unused and unopened. All four of these are unused and unopened. That's kind of nice. I want to keep one of these hydrating masks because I like hydrating masks because my face is really dry um, sometimes. So let's keep this, uh, what is it? Flight mode skincare high altitude hydration mask. And then and this blackheads are no fun. I don't know. I don't really get blackheads. We're going we're gonna to get rid of these three. These three. This is an Ahava hydration cream mask. This is Grace and Stella blackheads are no fun, but removing them can be. Blackhead removing mask and Generation Clay brightening purple clay mask. We're going to give these away. Yay. Okay, so we're keeping 15 of your wash off masks. Basically a lot of these. I, I don't, I don't know. A lot of these, these ones, we're keeping a lot of those. <laughs> I think it's more exciting to see the ones I'm getting rid of. So let me show you the ones I'm getting rid of throwing away. So these are the ones that are getting thrown away slash given away. These are being thrown away because they're old and yucky. And these are being given away. Six being thrown away. And this is hard to really count because here's one mask, but this one has five inside of it. This has four inside of it. This has, I don't know, a lot. So, well, but items, 10 items. <laughs> so this section was just going to be toners. And then I only had those and I was like, okay, let's make it toners, oils, and that weird spray over there. So I just can, can kind of mix it all up. So let's start with toners. I have, these are my two toners that I'm kind of using right now. This is from Mur Murad. It is my hydrating toner. I am like that much of the way, well, now it went down, but I'm like that much of the way through. I'm, I'm getting through it. It's really great. I really like it. Then this is another toner. It's from Pat, Pat, Patika, Patika. It's, it's a great toner. It's um, more of an anti-blemish toner. So I feel like they both do different things. This one's like for when I need that hydration. And this one is for like when I'm having blemishes. So yay. Then I have these like little sample size toners. Um, here's from Innisfree. This one I think I got from a hotel. I don't know. And this one is from uh, Good Good Molecules. I This one's a rose water toner. I don't like rose. <laughs> I don't really like the smell of rose. So that one's uh, and, and it's from a hotel. Nobody's going to want that. So that's going in the trash. Um, these two little um, 
ones. I feel like this brightening toner is really nice and I, I, I think I'm just gonna use that one. It's it's a good molecule, it's great. This little one from Innisfree, like I think I've taken it on vacation like 10 times because I'm like, oh, I'll have a toner so I can take it on vacation. Do I remember to tone my face when I'm on vacation? No, no, I don't, I don't remember. So having a, a sample size toner is just not necessary. It's a nice toner, but I've had saying that I've taken it on vacation 10 times means I've had it for a long time because I don't go on vacation very often. It's a, it's old. It, it's going in the trash. So we're keeping these three toners and we are getting rid of those, those two toners. So now let's go to oils. These are facial oils. I have this milk makeup facial oil. I love this facial oil. It smells like oranges and it goes, I, I use it at night before I go to bed and I have um, what glazed donut skin or glass skin, whatever you want to say. I love it. It's beautiful. Then I got this one from Good Molecules. It's a Batchiol oil blend and they use this one instead of retinol, I think. It's supposed to be less like bad for your skin. I haven't even opened it. So I wanted to try it. Um, I got the one that is for oily skin because there's one that's for oily skin and one for dry skin. And I swear, I feel like I talk about Accutane way too much on this channel, but um, I was finishing up Accutane. And before I went on Accutane, my skin was super oily. During Accutane, my skin was dry as a desert. Now it is in between. <laughs> it's kind of normal. So they didn't have one for normal. They had oily, or dry. And so I went with oily because I was like, my skin will revert back to oily, I'm sure. So I guess I'm waiting for my skin to revert back to oily. Um, here is uh, Sunday Rarely, which is an amazing brand. Um, although it has vitamin C in it, and I hear the vitamin C kind of breaks down when it isn't in, like when it's in the sun. And this is like a clear bottle, but I mean, Sunday not Riley knows what they're doing. So I don't know, but it's a, a vitamin C and turmeric face oil. And you know, I'm, it's kind of in the backup when I get through this one, but can you see how far I've gotten through this one? Not, not very much. So it's going to take a while. Facial oil is hard to go through. Um, this one is a, an oil. I don't even know. Do you see that there's no, there's nothing. I don't know what this is. <laughs> There's no branding on this. It smells really nice. Um, but since I have no idea what it is, I have no idea how long I've had it. This needs to go. I don't like these little mini ones. I, I want, I feel like I have to get through them before I can play with these ones. And then they just take up tons of space. Does anybody else feel that way? So I am going to get rid of this one. <laughs> and we're just going to have these three and I'm going to get through these. And I feel good about that. Then I have this. <laughs> This is um, from ESYM. It's an energizing face mist. And I think I got this. I don't, I don't even know where to put this because I'm like an energizing face mist. What do I do with this? I think I should put it in my purse because when I'm tired at work, I can spray this. Let's put, put spray it on now. Ooh, that's nice. It smells like eucalyptus. Is it, I don't think it's a setting spray. I mean, it can be a setting spray, but it's like you just put it on whenever you want. You awaken the senses and energize the skin with a 100% natural handcrafted aroma. It's just supposed to wake you up. I like it. I got it because I get sleepy at work because I work at a computer all day. So I'm keeping it. It's a weird thing. <laughs> so we're keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. And we got rid of these four from this weird category that I can't explain. Serums. I got some serums. Too many serums. Yeah, too many. Again, serums come in subscription boxes. A lot of skincare comes in subscription boxes. So do I need to go? That's why I need to go through this skincare declutter. Some of these are much more expensive than other ones, which is like, should I keep them because they're more expensive or do they actually work? I, it's hard to say. I don't even know. But this one right here, Grace and Stella, I am... I am right here on this baby. I am, I'm, I'm right here. So I'm going to use this guy up and I'm, I'm really proud of myself for that, getting through a serum. So, uh, I'm keeping this and get, I'm going to, you'll see it in my next empties. Yay. Um, then I'm going to, as soon as I'm done with that one, I'm going to go to this one because it's summertime and this is a self tan serum. So, um, oh, this one says body. I thought this one was for the face. This one, this one. So both of these are Isle of Paradise. One of them is 
This one's for the body. This one's for the face and the body. Okay, so here we go. This one will I'll be for the body. So let's not even talk about that because we're not doing the body right now. This one's for the face. <laughs> so as soon as I'm done with this one, I will go to this one. Yay! Because I want to be tan this summer. Not just from going outside and, and you know, hurting my skin cells, but from... <laughs> from uh unnatural tanning processes so here is glow recipe which again doesn't have preservatives Woo! it doesn't have preservatives so this one needs to be on on deck because it doesn't have preservatives this is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops is this the oldest serum in my in my collection no but i know for a fact it doesn't have preservatives so it needs to be next in my in my collection. That one's watermelon too, but that's not glow recipe. Okay. I'm going to smell it to make sure it smells all right, but they make it impossible to open. I mean, it's such a cute bottle. It is so cute. So let's make sure it still smells good. Yeah, it smells great. And I got this in a boxy charm a couple months ago, so I knew it would be okay. So we're keeping these because this is like my summer and this will be next right after, after summer's gone. We'll, we'll use that. So Okay, these are, are my, my serums that are on, on deck or being used right now. Okay, these are the Laneige Glowy Makeup ones that I got. I got this from TJ Maxx. Oh, yeah, here it is for 20 bucks. I got it because these um, Glow Recipe ones were going like viral. They were crazy, but this was like $38. And I was like, oh, I'm not spending $38 for those. Thank you very much. And so I got this for $20 and... These are, have really good, like, they're also a glowy makeup serum. And so they were like the same thing. Um, but I was able to get this in a BoxyCharm without spending $38 for it. So I'm thinking that this one will be like, you know, I don't know, next up to bat, right? Okay, then I have all of these. So do I need all of these? No, I don't. Why, why do I, so, so now I just have to think, I have to think, here is another glow, this is from e.l.f., this is Sunkiss Booster Drops, so I, I kind of like this idea of like glow drops, whatever, so we'll keep that and see what happens. So these are from 111 Skin, 111 Skin is very expensive, so it's like something that I could probably put on my Poshmark and make a little bit of money maybe, you know, make a little money back, um, you know, or I could give to friends and family and they might enjoy. So I know actually I got two of these Skin Ink ones and I already gave one away in a in a giveaway so it, it's interesting I actually had the the uh the mask of this that I threw away so we're just going to throw the serum of this one away bye <laughs> this I've had for a really long time Waterloo oh, oh it's an overnight serum like I have overnight masks <sighs> there's overnight masks there's overnight serums when I'm confused about things because I don't know what they are they just kind of get left behind and I don't use them what's an overnight serum it's a serum I should use at night. Don't, can't I use all my serums at night? So then they just don't get used. This is old. I've had it for a long time because I don't use it because I don't know what the heck the difference is between an overnight serum versus a regular serum. Maybe it's just, you know, m more concentrated, but it's been a long time. And watermelon, ooh, that doesn't smell great. That It's very pungent. It's watermelon, the smell of, wa of artificial watermelon does not keep. It doesn't keep, so that's going in the trash. Here's another serum. This is the Rose Absolute Serum. I don't like Rose, it's going in the trash. I try to use these because I feel bad about throwing them away, but then I hate them because they're Rose. So here's some more sample sizes. These are, um, this one is a, uh, a retinol, and then, which is good. It's good to have retinol. So, and then this one, this one's old. This is Skin Iceland, um, Icelandic Youth Serum. I've had this for a really long time and haven't used it all up. Like these ones that are just old, I should, I shouldn't hold on to them because I'm, I'm trying to use up these tiny ones and I can't get through, and, and I'm also trying to get through this. So let's just get rid of the samples. Get rid of, let's get rid of these two. These two are old. I, I think this one is pretty recent. So let's look into that. But these two we're, they're old. It's nice to get rid of samples. <laughs> sample. This is an advanced retinol sample. Samples. Buy samples. Get out of my life. <laughs> this is an oil. Oh, I had oil in my other one. Why is this in here? 
Um, this is from Trader Joe's and I heard really good things about it. So we're going to put it with the oils, but we're going to keep it because I don't have very many oils. Okay, Sunday Riley. This is a retinoid serum. So this is retinoid. Let's see how many have retinoids in them. These are good for mm, anti-aging. This is for collagen, even though potentially collagen is better ingested than on your skin. This is Sunday Riley. It's a, it's a retinoid serum. So we're keeping that guy. That, that's definitely staying. Then um, these, 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 we're gonna get rid of these. This is an ampoule. What's an ampoule? It's from Earth Harbor. I don't, I don't know what an ampoule is. This is from Skin Inc. Um, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what's in there because I don't have the box anymore. So um, this is a line correcting booster serum. We're gonna, we're getting rid of these two. Where I don't, I, you know, I know what ingredients are in those. I don't know what ingredients are in these. I, I, and I don't know what an ampoule is. So we're getting rid of those. Keeping, these are all hyaluronic acid serums and expensive. Uh, so this gold fatten one, I think it's like $135. <sighs> what the heck? Did I even, I think I may have opened this one and started using it. Yeah, I did. So keeping that, uh, what does it do? Nobody knows. Uh, 111 Skin Hyaluronic Acid Booster. I already have a 111 Skin. This is a Radiance Booster. Let's let's see if uh, I can put that on my um, Poshmark. You know, let's put this on my Poshmark. Let's put both of these on my Poshmark. This one's Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid. So yeah, these are in boxes. They're nice. They're new. We probably can can put those on my Poshmark. Okay, so we're keeping nine grand. That's not so bad, actually. And we're getting rid of nine. Hey, nine and nine. Although these ones are a lot lower, but still. Are you like me that you have way too many eye creams? Should I probably have moved my camera closer? Maybe, but... My next moisturizers are big again, so any who's all. Okay, I have too many eye creams because there's a lot less surface area under your eyes and it takes forever to go through an eye cream. Which ones am I currently going through? This one from Glam Glow. I am currently going through this one. It's taking, it's tiny. This thing is tiny and I'm trying to use it. This one from Glow Recipe because it doesn't have preservatives. I'm trying to go through this one. This one I'm almost done with. You can see... Maybe it's kind of the, set, the shade of the container, but I'm almost through with that one. And this guy, this is from Belief. It's a moisturizing eye, eye cream. I, I've been using this one too. So these little tiny sample sizes, I, I get stuck using these. And then I have these that like, oh, this one too. This one's from Tula. This one I use all the, I put this one in the refrigerator and it's, oh, I love this one so much. So these are the ones I'm like currently, currently using right now. Then these just kind of get, they're waiting their turn. Um, I, I have used these, I think, and maybe I, I have like randomly when I'm not using these, use these. And so these are like opened, but being neglected. And these are just unopened and being neglected. <laughs> so let's see if any of these need to be thrown away. Keep, possibly throw away, possibly give away. Boom. That's where we're at. This is Dr. Brandt. Needles, no more, no, no more baggage. I hear this is a really good eye cream. It's just old and it's probably expired because I can't get through all of the eye creams I'm using. I just can't. I'm on the fence about that. Oh, look, I have this one. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to throw this one away because this one is expired and this one is not. Yay, I don't think they're the exact same thing. This one's a triple peptide eye cream and this one's like no more needles, but... Yeah. Okay. I feel good about that because I feel like I just replaced a one that is not dead with one that is dead. So this one's in the trash. This one's I'm, I'm keeping. Yay. Okay. That was good. That was a good, a good game. This one right here is from pharmacy. Pharmacy is a really nice brand. I really like it. Um, but this is huge eye cream and I've had it for a really long time, really long time. It doesn't smell bad. Um, but it does look like it is possibly separating a little bit. So we're going to get rid of that, unfortunately, because it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's in the best 
shape of its life. I mean, look at how nice this is. Do you see this wood top? This is such great quality. Where did, and I'm sure I got this in a subscription box. So this was a really nice thing to get in a subscription box. It is the total eye cream with echinacea. Ooh. Hmm. But I, I just, I don't think that this is, is still good. I've had this since I was in my old house. So it's, 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 it's not good anymore. I can't keep these things when I'm, when they're, I need to go through these. And then these are just sitting around. This is from Hey Honey. Um, eye contour lifting fluid. This is another one of those, like when it's confusing and I don't know what it is and I never use it because I haven't figured it out by super restorative total eye concentrate again huh what by I don't know what you are um this is a renewing eye cream okay so this is Mira this is tiny I don't think that this is totally old so we will keep that one can I get rid of any of these okay okay probably I only need what I feel like let's keep one and get rid of two but which one is the best which one? I wish I knew. I wish I knew so that I could keep one. This one has caffeine in it. That's nice. This one is for tired, overworked eyes, which, you know, aren't we all um, have tired, overworked eyes? Uh, let's, let's keep this one um, because it has caffeine in it. Does this one have caffeine in it? This one has phytoglycogen. That is in French, I think. Helps to relieve a bright and Reveal a bright and even skin tone. Has peptides, niacinamide. Does this one have niacinamide in it? We are going to get rid of these two and keep this one because it has caffeine. So I feel like that's good. These go in a giveaway. Yay. We're keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, for only keeping seven, we're getting rid of, getting rid of six. So getting rid of almost half of my eye cream collection. So yeah, these three are trash. These two are giveaway. This is my last category. This is moisturizers. Okay, and like creams. These are the ones that I am currently like going through that I'm using. These are ones that are unopened. These are ones that I've like started using, but I'm not currently as much. You Like I dip into them every once in a while or I use them once for a review and haven't gone through them since. So. Let's, let's talk. This Wonder Beauty, do not disturb. This is a 1% retinoid and I like having a retinoid. So, um, because I'm getting older every day, so it's good to have that. So I switch off between this and this. This is my Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. This is just a really good moisturizer. Um, the little, this little delivery system doesn't work so well. I just open it up and get the cream out myself because it used to just you could just go like this and it would pop out but yeah that doesn't work so great anymore so I am using those then here's this Kate Somerville um and I am also going through this one this one is more of a light like these are heavy more moisturizers where this is a very um like uh, a light moisturizer it's good it's it, it's very good for sensitive skin so when my skin is feeling very sensitive I use this one so these it's bad that I'm going through like three moisturizers at the same time but it is what it is. So then I have all of these like sample sizes and I hate sample sizes because I feel like I need to go through them, but they just, they drive me freaking bonkers. So let's get rid of some sample sizes. This one from Ofra, it's a vitamin C cream. And I'm always like, oh yeah, cool vitamin C. That's really good for your skin. I think that I got this with one of my like first mystery boxes. And I think that was like five years ago. So yeah, that that doesn't look good. <laughs> so that's going in the trash. Then I have this, this little La Mer. This is the tiniest little sample size. And I hate this. It is too thick. I've used it because it, this is super expensive. This is probably like this amount of product is probably like 50 bucks right here. No, I don't know. Like, but maybe like five bucks. But um, it is thick, 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 thick. It's a moisturizing cream, but it's it is way too thick. Even when I, my skin is its driest, it's too thick. I don't like it. So I'm getting rid of that. So then I have these two little milk cleansers. Um, that one, the lid wasn't on very well. So I, yeah, look at that. Um, they're both the same, but this one, the lid was on correctly. This one, it wasn't. So I think that this one's bad. Um, it looks like it has turned, uh, it, it's clear. And I think it, it just kind of dried up. So we're going to keep this tiny little one 
and throw away the one that turned. Dang it, Bianca, screw your lids on correctly. Come on. Even though it's tiny sample size, I've used this and it is really, really, really nice. Then we have some more samples. <sighs> okay, these little packages, I hate them. I try to use them and then I like use them. There's, there's too much to use just once. So then you try to like hold on, you try to save it so that you can use it twice, but then it like dries up and I mean, hate them. I'm just throwing them in the trash. I feel bad about it, but I, I just hate them. <laughs> okay. So then I have this Sunday Riley cream and I'm almost through it. Like there's just barely enough left. So I am going to try to get through that, even though like I'm sure it's expired and whatever, but I really like it actually. I have these two. Um, this is from Innisfree. Uh, it's a cherry blossom. This is old. Uh, it's, it's a gel. What is this? This is from um, Drunk Elephant. I think I got this as a birthday gift. Yeah, we'll keep that. Um, let's see. Then these three. Uh, I'm on the fence about that one. <laughs> I haven't talked about it yet. Uh, this is, these are all, these two are gels. This is, oh no, this is a cream. It's a coconut water cream. So this is, I think they're kind of, yeah, it is a gel. Gels are interesting, aren't they? They're like good if your skin is like dry because they're not as like moisturizing. Water gel. I'm going to keep those two. I think that's an interesting concept. So I don't need this gel from Innisfree. Plus I think that's older. Um, so that's trash. Then we have Cetaphil deep hydration. I hate these little samples, but that seems awesome. A deep hydration daily glow, a healthy glow daily cream. It sounds great. Ugh. Okay. I got rid of a, quite a few of my sample sizes. So, so I'm okay that I, I still kept. So then we have this, um, wishful honey balm. I got this in a, um, Huda Beauty mystery bag and it smells amazing. It smells kind of like lavender. And I want to keep that. So I want to use that when I'm done. Like when I'm done with these three, I'm going to go, I'm going to start into this one. And this is from Glow Recipe, which doesn't have preservatives. So, and I got this in a BoxyCharm. So, and it's banana. I don't like that. I don't like the smell of banana. So I want to give this to another home before it doesn't smell good anymore. So that, I'm getting rid of that. Oh, I feel like I made a good decision with that one. Okay. I just got this refer cream. This is from refer hydration cream. I just got this. I paid a dollar for it. You got to choose how much you wanted to pay for it. And it was like, I think it was like 30 some dollars and you could pay 50%. You could pay like uh, 25%. You could pay $0. And I felt bad paying $0. So I only paid a dollar, which is, I know like, why is $1 better than $0, but whatever. I paid a dollar and I haven't even tried it yet. So it should be over here and I haven't tried it yet, but it was, it fit with these types of bottles these types of containers. So anyways, I'm keeping that. I want to try it. I want to review it. Um, then this is from Grown Alchemist. This is an, uh, a really nice, it says it's a Hydra Repair Day Cream. Is this for your face? I feel like I love the brand Grown Alchemist. It smells so great, but they don't put enough like directions on things. I wish this said like face cream instead of, or like hand cream instead of like just day cream. We're gonna put this on the side cause I don't feel like it smells super great anymore. So maybe it doesn't have preservatives either. This is sunscreen and it looks like it has expired in last year, April, 2021. So that was a year ago. It is a year old. So I, and my FabFitFun is about to come and it's gonna have some sunscreens in it. So let's get rid of this and have the new effective non-expired sunscreen. Done. I feel good about that. We're gonna get rid of this because it doesn't smell good anymore. And I'm not even sure if it's a face cream or a hand cream and it doesn't smell great. So actually we're just gonna throw that one away. We have these three things, these, these boxes. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a magic cream. Keeping that um, for, I'm, I'm keeping that. That's magic cream. Ma it's magic. Um, Tula, I got this in a, I think it was an Ipsy X. I love Tula. Tula is fantastic. So, um, my sister gave me this when she gave me a whole bunch of random things. She, um, it is the exact same thing as this. It's the goat milk cake Somerville. I really like the one I have, but I don't need another one. Like I'm trying to get through other stuff. So I'm thinking we could give that like in, in a giveaway kind of thing. This one I've had for a really long time. 
I, I feel like I've had this forever and I've just been holding on to it because it's still in the box and it is like an anti-age regenerative face cream. I'm going to give this away. I'm going to give this to somebody who it, it's just sitting in my collection. It can go to someone else. I just got this one in a, I believe in an Ipsy X, X as well. So I'm going to keep that one. And then here's a little sample size of a 30 SPF sunscreen and it is not expired. It expires in November. So great. Oh, yay. Okay. So these are the ones I'm keeping. Probably too much, but there it is. So we're keeping eight, nine. You know what? No, no, no. We're getting rid of these and this. We're getting rid of these. I just made a decision. I don't need all those little sample sizes. They just clog my soul. We're keeping 11. We're getting rid of, these ones are going to be in like, I can give to friends and family slash giveaway or something. So there we go. Those are four. And then these are the ones that are going in the trash because they're old. 15, 16. Yay. I will do a shot of everything. So you can see all the stuff I'm getting rid of because that's always fun, right? So here is all of the stuff I'm getting rid of. Yay. My collection is going to be so happy with me. So we have this area right there is going in the trash because it's old and sometimes separated and doesn't smell very good and this stuff right over here is going in giving to people giving away possibly putting in my Poshmark if it is you know uh brand speaking new giving to friends this this is the still good section but is just sitting in my collection. This is the not good section in my collection. <laughs> section in my collection, look at that. All right, thank you so much if you got to this far in my video. I really appreciate it. You are a rock star. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you liked my video and you want to see more like this, I do quite a few declutters on my channel, so consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And I hope most importantly that you remember to be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.